If we go to this URL right here, www.microsoft.com slash net slash core, we will see all of the different installations. We'll see all of the different ways to install .NET Core on our platform. So we have for Windows, we have for Linux, we have for Mac OS X, and we even have it if we want to associate and install Docker. So in this case, I have right here a virtual machine running on Windows utilizing Hyper-V. And in this case, I'm running Ubuntu. And Ubuntu is an open source Linux OS that I installed for the purpose of demonstrating how to install on a Linux device ASP.NET Core. And in this lecture, I'm going to install ASP.NET Core. Then in the next lecture, I'm going to associate the installation of Node.js, NPM, Yeoman, the ASP.NET Core generator for Yeoman, and then Visual Studio Code. But in this case, you can see you can go over to this Linux tab, and there's different Linux OS you can associate with this. Whether it's Linux Mint, Debian, there's all different types. And in this case, I'm going to run through the installation on Ubuntu. So right here, I have Ubuntu 16.04. And this demonstrates how to install it in Ubuntu 14.04. And this is what I have right here at 16.04. And then it shows you how to install the .NET Core SDK. So I'm going to exit out of this. And now I have the commands we're going to associate with the next two lectures. We're going to cover these top two right here. So let's go over here to the terminal. And we see right here when we click the Start menu, let's click Terminal. And now let's associate the items we have here. So let's copy all of these commands. And let's copy it here. And then let's paste it. And then it wants the password associated with that. So this is our local administrator password. And now that we have that set, let's make sure we install the key because it associates with the first item here. And then once we have that, it's requesting the key to associate here. So now it's imported. We've imported one key into our installation. And then we want to associate right here the sudo apt get update. Once we do that, we're updating and connecting to the security.ubuntu.com. It's updating our package right here. Once that's done, now let's install the SDK. Pretty simplistic process. It's so nice that now we can build .NET cores on Ubuntu and Mac OS X. You could previously do it with the mono runtime, but in this case now Microsoft is supporting .NET Core, and now on Linux devices we can build our apps. And now that we have all of this set up, Let's just run .NET, and let's see if there's any commands that come up. Let's see .NET. And now you can see right here, by typing .NET, it tells you what version we're on, what build. We also have a help right here to associate with the different commands. So we can say .NET help. And now we have all the commands we can associate with .NET Core and the .NET Core CLI. Right here, this is all the different references you have for yourself. In future lectures, we'll actually create an app via console app and also the ASP.NET Core generator. But as you can see right here, we've installed ASP.NET Core. In the next lecture, we will actually install Node.js and PM. We will also install Yeoman and the ASP.NET Core generator.